While the Republican field is packed with male candidates, so far, some of the sharpest Clinton critics have come from women. Democrats successfully campaigned on an alleged GOP-perpetrated war on women in 2012, but faltered in 2014 when they tried the same tactic. The numbers on U.S. student debt, after all, are truly staggering. The average 2015 U.S. university graduate who took out loans to help pay for tuition enters the workforce with $35,000 in student debt. In the U.S., total student debt exceeds $1.15 trillion, dwarfing, for instance, the nation's credit card debt. There are perhaps three ways of looking at furniture. Some people see it as purely functional and useful, and don't bother themselves with aesthetics. Others see it as essential to civilized living and concern themselves with design and how the furniture will look in a room. People in their 20s and 30s who drink moderate to heavy amounts of alcohol may be more likely to have a stroke as young adults than people who drink low amounts or no alcohol, according to a study. The risk of stroke increased the more years people reported moderate or heavy drinking.
Members of a culture must conform to its norms for the culture to exist and function. Hence, members must want to conform and obey rules. They first must internalize the social norms and values that dictate what is normal for the culture. Then they must socialize or teach norms and values to their children. An industry or workplace often has its own terms for certain items, places, or groups of people, and a university is no different. Here we have attempted to explain some of the terms you may come across on our websites that are specific to higher education. Financial literacy is the knowledge and understanding of financial concepts and skills that are necessary for making informed financial decisions. It encompasses topics such as budgeting, saving, investing, and managing debt. Experts discuss the significance of attending the theater as a civic occasion, associated with the political and cultural achievements of Athens. Through archaeology and analyses of contemporary art forms such as decoration on pottery, a picture is built up of ancient Greek theater.
Technology has significantly transformed various aspects of society. It has revolutionized communication, making it easier to connect with others globally. Technology has also improved efficiency in industries, leading to advancements in healthcare, transportation, and manufacturing. Genetics is the study of heredity and the variation of traits in living organisms. Genes, which are segments of DNA, contain instructions for specific traits. Inheritance patterns, such as dominant and recessive genes, determine how traits are passed from parents to offspring. Recycling is a crucial practice that helps conserve natural resources and reduce pollution. By converting waste materials into reusable resources, recycling minimizes the amount of waste sent to landfills. Recycling is a crucial practice that helps conserve natural resources and reduce pollution. By converting waste materials into reusable resources, recycling minimizes the amount of waste sent to landfills.
Regular exercise is essential for maintaining good health. It helps strengthen muscles, improve cardiovascular fitness, and boost the immune system. Engaging in physical activity also supports mental well-being by reducing stress and anxiety. The life cycle of a butterfly consists of four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Each stage has unique characteristics and plays a crucial role in the butterfly's transformation. Engaging in hobbies provides a much-needed break from our daily routines and allows us to pursue activities we enjoy. Hobbies can reduce stress, boost creativity, and provide a sense of accomplishment. Find a hobby that brings you joy and make time for it regularly. Sleep is essential for our bodies to rest and recharge. It plays a vital role in maintaining physical and mental health. Aim for a consistent sleep schedule and create a relaxing bedtime routine to ensure quality sleep and wake up feeling refreshed.
Practicing gratitude can have a profound impact on our happiness and mental well-being. Taking time to appreciate the positive aspects of our lives, both big and small, can shift our perspective and foster a sense of contentment and fulfillment. Effective communication is key to building strong relationships and resolving conflicts. Listening actively, expressing thoughts clearly, and being mindful of nonverbal cues can enhance our communication skills. Let's strive to communicate openly and effectively with others. Water is essential for our bodies to function properly. It helps regulate body temperature, aids in digestion, and keeps our skin healthy. Make sure to drink an adequate amount of water each day to stay hydrated and maintain overall well-being. Friendships enrich our lives in countless ways. True friends offer support, laughter, and a shoulder to lean on during difficult times. 
Cultivating meaningful connections and nurturing friendships is essential for our emotional well-being. Nature is a source of awe and inspiration. From breathtaking landscapes to the delicate beauty of flowers, spending time in nature can rejuvenate our minds and souls. Take a walk in the park or plan a hike to appreciate the wonders of the natural world. Managing time effectively is crucial for productivity and success. Prioritizing tasks, setting goals, and creating schedules can help us make the most of our time. By being mindful of how we use our time, we can achieve more and reduce stress. Kindness can make a significant impact on both the giver and the receiver. Small acts of kindness, like a smile or a helping hand, can brighten someone's day and create a positive ripple effect. Let's spread kindness and make the world a better place.
Reading can transport us to different worlds and expand our imagination. Whether it's fiction or nonfiction, books offer knowledge, entertainment, and a chance to explore new perspectives. Pick up a book and dive into a captivating story. Education plays a vital role in shaping our future. It equips us with knowledge, skills, and critical thinking abilities. By pursuing education, we open doors to better opportunities and enhance our understanding of the world around us. Exercise offers numerous benefits for our bodies and minds. Regular physical activity can help strengthen our muscles, improve cardiovascular health, and reduce stress levels. It's recommended to engage in at least 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week. When traveling, it's essential to pack smart. Make a checklist of the items you need, including your passport, toiletries, and clothes suitable for the destination. 
Don't forget to double check your travel documents and arrive at the airport early. Eating healthy is important for our well-being. We should include a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in our diet. Avoiding excessive sugar and processed foods can help us maintain a balanced and nutritious eating plan. The weather can be unpredictable. One day it's sunny and warm, and the next day it's rainy and cold. We need to be prepared for different weather conditions, so we can dress appropriately and plan our activities accordingly. A single research study rarely gives us enough certainty to say that its results will always be true in every situation. Instead, research is an ongoing process. It's based on many different findings and explanations that, when combined, help us understand educational matters in general. Over time, these understandings lead to the development of theory.
In order for a culture to exist and work properly, people who belong to that culture need to follow its rules and norms. This means they should want to obey and fit in. To do this, they first need to understand and accept the norms and values that define what's considered normal in their culture. Where a restaurant is located in the city can greatly affect how well it does. Once a restaurant is set up, it can't change its location. It can only try to make it easier for customers to reach them. Restaurant owners often argue with local authorities about providing parking spaces to make it more convenient for their customers. When writing a book, the author needs to choose how to arrange and organize the content to match the reflective nature of the work. The book often repeats and builds upon ideas about research, theory, and practice as the story unfolds. The colors used in old-time photographs were influenced by the dyes and pigments available at that time. These colors had a big impact on the overall look and feel of the photos, 
reflecting the style and period in history they belong to. Blue whales are the biggest mammals alive. There are different reports about their maximum size, but Antarctic blue whales have been known to grow up to 100 feet long and weigh more than 150 tons. Sadly, their numbers have drastically decreased due to whaling activities. In our bodies, tissues come together to make organs like the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each organ has a unique shape and is made of different kinds of tissues that work together. For instance, the heart is mostly made of a special type of muscle tissue that contracts in a rhythmic way to make the heart pump. Two sisters were at a dinner party when the conversation turned to upbringing. The elder sister started to say that her parents had been very strict and that she had been rather frightened of them. Her sister, younger by two years, interrupted in amazement.
Using more than 50 interviews, award-winning writer Danny Danziger creates a fascinating mosaic of the people behind New York's magnificent Metropolitan Museum of Art from the aristocratic, acerbic director of the museum, Philippe de Montebello, to the curators who have a deep knowledge and passionate appreciation of their collections from the security guards. The Office of Personnel Management was the target of the attack, but data from nearly every government agency was stolen. U.S. Investigators say they believe Chinese hackers were behind the breach. Not a lot is known about how the transportation of goods by water first began. Large cargo boats were being used in some parts of the world up to 5,000 years ago. However, sea trade became more widespread when large sailing boats traveled between ports, carrying spices, perfumes and objects made by hand. 